Here's a quick video from my friend Patrick. Uh, he makes uh, drum videos on YouTube and also really cool drumming in a lot of cool bands. Uh, check out his YouTube, there's a link in the description. But he called me the other day asking about evening out kick drums. So I thought I'm going to show how you can do that in Cubase uh, without using compressors or limiters. This will also make your compressor work more efficiently. So here I have a, a drum recording. I have the kick drums up here. As you can see, depending on how hard the drummer hits, it differs quite a bit. So I'm just going to show you on this um, inside kick mic, take up this um, editor down here, and go in and check the hit point. So make sure to set the threshold so you catch all the kick drums, but not the stuff in between. But sometimes it's hard to make it exact, so if you miss something, let's say if this was a kick drum, activate that one. If it accidentally puts a hit point at the transient that is not a kick drum, you can also disable it. Then you're going to the menu, audio, hit points, and uh, divide audio events at hit points. Cuts here at all the kick drums. Let's go process, normalize. And here I would choose peak normalization, maybe minus six. And it could be a good idea before you do this, make sure the auto apply is not checked and uh, apply and it will work through it all here. When you're done with that, you can uh, bounce the whole selection so you don't have it uh, as all those little clips because that can be quite taxing on the processing. Just like that we have a more even peak volume of the transients of the kick drum. This won't affect the fact that the harder kick drums is more clickier and will sound more intense. This will not take away the dynamics. If you want to tame the dynamics and make it sound more even overall, um, I will make another video next Tuesday. So check back then. Bye bye. Cheers.